again, this is Nick. Today I'm going to uh, go over with you uh, a couple things I wish I was told about the um, Blade 200 SRX helicopter. Awesome product, great product. I love it. I've been having lots of fun with it. But uh, I had to go on the blogs and um, check out a couple of videos to try and find out a problem I had where the, um, the thing would fly like this and the tail would jump all over the place and it would get into erratic flight. And this was after a couple very uh, slight um, crashes, just basically uh, a light ding, if you will, and um, made some changes, replaced some parts. Um, and actually in the process, over a period of time, with more dings, I've stripped this gear and replaced it. I've stripped gears in the servo and had to replace them too so what i'm going to show you is the gain adjustments and i'm going to also show you the advanced settings that people may not know about and these advanced settings are kind of critical because this is what took care of my um uh, my vibration issue first um blade has a great how-to video on youtube on how to adjust the parameters on the um the gain adjustments but what they don't tell you is a couple important things which i'm going to go over so what that is is um how do you know if you're in the right adjustment or gain parameter mode so we're going to uh we've got a transmitter on okay we got our throttle all the way down to zero we got our throttle um uh, trim up all the way up to high and we're gonna power up the chopper okay blue light is on she's bound and she's ready to go so um what we're going to go over now are the gain adjustments pay special close attention to your servo here which is your aileron servo and that's your going to be your roll which is going to handle your roll axis and then your elevator servo here which is going to handle your pitch forward and backwards okay so first thing we want to do is we want to get into the mode and to get into the mode i'll try to show you here what you need to do is you need to pull the elevator I'm sorry, the throttle and rudder stick all the way to the lower right. And then the elevator and aileron to the lower right. Hold them. And then you're going to hold the bind button. Okay. And when both servos are down like that, she's in gain adjustment mode. Now, here's the thing that they don't tell you in the video. How do you know which parameter you're in? This Pay attention to this servo. This servo is going to tell you what parameter you're in. This servo is going to tell you what percent your gain is adjusted to. Let's get a little closer. Uh-oh. Makeshift holder. Okay. For my phone. So... I'm going to show you, I'll put a link in the video, I'll show you where to get the paperwork, where you can actually download the PDF of this instruction sheet. So, gain parameter one is going to be your cyclic. Okay. Gain parameter two is going to be your tail rotor adjustment. Gain parameter three is going to be your filtering. And gain parameter four is going to be your motor power adjustment. So, by moving your aileron stick left or right you're gonna change what parameter you're in so on the sheet now what they show you which they did not discuss in the video is how you know actually what parameter you're in so pay close attention to this servo now this will tell you what parameter you're in if parameter one is going to be when the servo is 100% in the left position, swash plate is tilted all the way left on the roll axis. 
we're gonna move our aileron stick one more time to the right, and this is gonna put us in parameter two. Parameter two is now 50% left pitch, or I'm sorry, angle on the, on the swash plate. It's a roll axis, not pitch. Okay, we're gonna move the aileron stick one more time to the right. Okay, now it's 50% right, which is putting us in parameter three which is your filtering adjustment. And one more time, we're gonna move the stick to the right on the other end. And now you're at 100% deflection to the right on the swash plate. And that is motor power, motor power adjustment. Now, if you look at your elevator servo, okay, you're gonna see that is 100% down right now. Now, to change the gain adjustment, you're going to move your elevator stick, your right stick, up or down. Okay, that's less motor gain. That's at zero gain, all the way that way. Right in the middle is 100% gain, which is factory default. And all the way down on the motor servo is 200% gain, which is where I fly this chopper at. Now, if you want to go and do that and put that 200% gain in there, it's advisable that you give it a little more tail rotor adjustment, tail rotor. So that's going to go to the next parameter, parameter two. And that's going to be our tail rotor adjustment. So for parameter two, we want our servo here to be 50% left. So we'll go backwards. We'll go three, two. Okay, now we're in parameter two, and now we're on our tail rotor adjustment. So if we go up or down, that's gonna be 0% tail rotor. When the swash plate is level, that's, we're looking at the swash plate now level on the pitch axis, that's 100% tail rotor. And we give it a little more and Let's see, that would be 200% tail rotor. That would be about 50. We want, we want 25%. That's where I, I just had it out into the trim flight and that's where we put it and it's wonderful. Um, and then after all your settings are made, you would go ahead, we're gonna leave that alone because it's already preset. I'm gonna go back to my motor adjustment. And there's, there's my motor adjustment and then now you're going to hold your bind switch and hold it. Okay, and once the servos do that, you are locked in and all your adjustments are saved. So that takes care of that. Now, we're going to go into another mode that's called trim flight. I'm not going to do everything here because we're going to have to take it outside and fly it to show you the rest of it. But you need to get into the trim flight mode and do that after you've replaced parts and done any of this work. Now to get it in the trim flight mode, you're gonna to have to download the advanced settings PDF from the website. And I'm gonna put links in this video for both. Okay, so to get in, it actually shows you how to zero the servos, um, how to connect your control horns on the servos, what holes to use, and this is all in the advanced setting and the setup guide. So now to get into that mode, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just unplug the battery momentarily. And we're gonna be starting from scratch to go into that mode, which is your trim flight mode. I just want to show you what it looks like. Okay, let's plug our battery back in. So all of this was necessary to do to get rid of my vibration. Uh, my problem was I had the filtering set wrong because I did not have it in the right mode. I was changing the mode and I thought I was in the right mode and I was in the wrong mode and I'm going ahead and then adjusting the gain, watching this servo and I was adjusting the gain and I think it was the tail rotor when I wanted to be adjusting um, the filtering. So um, it's, it's advisable to keep the filtering at 100% um, if you've got a lot of 
action with vibration in the tail. You can lower the filtering. The guide explains it all better than I can. But watch for the link for the guide in this video. If I can put the link in the video, I will. If it will not go in the video, I will put it in the description of the video. So make sure you read the description on this video. Okay, so I'm just going to show you real quick how to get this baby into the um, trim flight mode. So trim flight mode is real simple. Um, once you're powered up on your transmitter and your battery pack, you're going to now put your rudder stick, throttle stick to lower left position. And you're going to put your aileron elevator stick to upper left position. Okay. And there you go. And then you're going to hold the bind switch. And after, after the um, slash plate does that, you're good to go. So it does that little, that little wiggle. You are good to go. Now, you, and you do this on a level surface. So you make sure you have this on a level surface. Now take it out and fly it. Adjust your trims. Land it on a level surface. After you've done all that, you take and you hold and your bind switch and let go and it'll do that and you are now trimmed and it's going to remember, remember your trim settings. And then finally is your um, zeroing out your servos. It's more of a lengthy process, but in essence what you have to do is um, You have to undo two motor leads on your main rotor. You have to unplug the tail rotor motor, okay? And then you go through and you do what they tell you to do. Uh, you disconnect your, you can leave your control horns on, just disconnect your links. And then you go through and follow the directions and it shows you how to zero these out. So when you put the control horns back on the servo, that servo, that arm is in zero position. So anytime you crash the bird, you do anything upstairs up here on the rotor. Uh, if you do anything with the servos or servo gears, I highly recommend you go through and you zero them servos and do the zeroing procedure. After you do that, if you want to readjust your parameters, readjust your parameters for your gains. After your gains are adjusted, go ahead and adjust your trim flight mode and after your trim flight mode is finished anytime well what this is doing is setting up your gyro so your gyro works properly and what was happening with me was i didn't have that gyro working right and my um besides that my tail rotor uh motor was up way too high not as high as I wanted it to be. I only wanted 125%. Heck, I think I had it at 200%. And I was getting this thing was flying like this. It was crazy. So uh, it wouldn't do it right away. This is how we knew it was not a mechanical failure. Because if it was mechanical failure, it would be unstable right off the get-go. This thing would go into a hover. It would hold a ho hover. You can do a pirouette. You can kind of fly around a little bit. And then when she started flying for a while, it would start buffeting like this. And it was crazy. So after reading somebody's um, response to my question on the blog, that's how we determined it was a gyro electrical issue or, or a gain slash binding gyro issue as opposed to mechanical issue. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. It's really done a great deal of help to me. Uh, I love this chopper. This thing is so much fun. I can't wait to buy the 230, which is coming out. Hopefully, uh, I believe the end of this month or beginning of September. I'm not ready to 3D yet. Um, I still haven't put this thing on advanced mode. I actually did, and I tried to take off, and um, I almost took the prop, the tail or the main rotors off the off the bird. So uh, I think what I'll do is I'll take off in intermediate mode, put it to advanced, try flying in advanced mode, and then when I go to land, I'll switch it back to intermediate mode again for landing until I get much better. But um, thank you, Blade Helicopters, um, for making such a great product. And thank you, Horizon Hobby, for the great information. Uh, follow the links in this video or in the description of this video, and then you'll be able to download all the good information that I found, which helped me.
get my 200 SRX flying like a dream. Ciao.